It is time to begin our June session of the Williams County Board of County Commissioners. We'll call the session to order. We'd ask if you would to stand for the invocation. I want to ask Commissioner Jones to lead us in the invocation and Commissioner Pair, if he would, to lead us in the pledge to the flag, please. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for the blessings that you have given us. We, at this time, as representatives of Williamson County, we ask that you be with us tonight as we vote on these issues and may we do so with the best interests of our citizens. We also thank you at this time for uh, living in this country and living in this great state and this great county and we ask that you also be with our young men and women that are serving our country in foreign fields and be with them and bring them back to our, their country with honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated, please. Ms. Anderson, if uh, you would uh, record the roll, we'll, if you're present, press your white button indicating your presence here this evening. Uh, if you would, uh, Ms. Anderson, we please. We have 22 present, two absent. Commissioner Bain and Commissioner Hester's absent. Commissioner Bain is uh, out of town this evening, and Commissioner Hester is with her husband, Preston in Vanderbilt Hospital. He's had three heart bypasses. He's doing well and hopes to get to come home in the next few days. So remember Commissioner Hester and Preston as they go through this time. Approval of the minutes of the regular May 11, 2009 County Commission meeting. Copies were mailed out in the packet. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to accept those minutes. Motion is made and seconded by Commissioner Tommy Little. Any discussion on those minutes before we vote? We do have one uh, typographical correction that I would point to that we need to make on page number eight under the trustees report. Those minutes need to reflect that if you do file a protest and protest your taxes when they are filed, it's makes you eligible for a refund. So the minute said you're not eligible for a refund, that we just need to technically correct that, and I've asked the clerk to do that, so report to you that those minutes have been corrected. Anything else? All in favor of the minute, oh, excuse me, Commissioner Jones, I'm sorry. Not on that, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I just need to pull a resolution, and it's, so it's not on the minutes. Okay, okay. okay. all right, okay. Thank you. Anything else on the minutes? All in favor of the approval of the minutes, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous. Thank you very much. Commissioner Williams abstains uh, as he was absent. One abstention. Introduction, acceptance of the Highway Commission minutes. These were, have been sent to you. I'll entertain a motion. Commissioner Mills a motion, Commissioner Langston the second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous adoption. Citizens communication, there are no citizens that have signed up for presentation to us tonight. And under communications and messages, I'll recognize Commissioner Jones, please. Yes, I'd like to pull resolution 609-2. Okay. Resolution 609-2 has been pulled uh, by the maker. You also have uh, information that's been handed to you, a revised agenda as it relates to the consent agenda this evening. We have several of those contracts that we'll be voting individually, but uh, we get to those, we'll have to vote them individually, but we will vote them by voice vote. So 
that will allow us to move through that. Do we also have a late filed resolution? That resolution number is 60935. It's on the revised agenda. The resolution is in front of you. Is there any objection to adding to our agenda tonight uh, at the end of the other section? Resolution 60935. I see no objection, so 60935 will be added to the end of the agenda after the other section. Communications and messages. Uh, we want to thank uh, our Sergeant Arms for being here tonight. Uh, Sutton is here, and always a pleasure to have him. We'd ask you, if you are in the audience, to assist us and cooperate with us. If you do have a cell phone or a pager, please turn it off and allow us to conduct our business tonight without any interruption. So we'd ask your help there. Any other communications that we need to make relative to our agenda for the evening? I see none. This time we'll recognize uh, Commissioner Rogers Anderson, Ro Mayor Rogers Anderson, former Commissioner and Current Mayor Rogers Anderson. Actually, that's two of the nicer things said about me today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Your day's looking up. It then, is. Right? If I could have uh, Bill Jordan and his guests to uh, come up here in the front, I would appreciate it. You know, from time to time, there are a group of men and women that you get to acknowledge and have a proclamation that you're very proud of their efforts, over, particularly over the last several years. And thanks to you all for helping support and fund some of the issues. The uh, amateur radio um, emergency service that we have here in our county is second to none. It's grown from basically just a handful of men in the early days to well over 100, uh, about 125 now. And, uh, you know, you hope you never have to use these men and women in our community. You hope they get to practice all the time and do the things they enjoy doing. But in those very dire circumstances when we lose all communication, this is all we have left. So my pleasure to be able to read this proclamation. There are several hundred federally licensed amateur radio operators residing in Williamson County, more than 125 of whom are active members of the Williamson County Amateur Radio Emergency Service, We CARES. And whereas we care members have consistently demonstrated their commitment to public service by willingly volunteering their individual time and utilizing their personal radio equipment at no cost for the benefit of the citizens of Williamson County in order to provide a source of reliable radio communication support during the natural disasters or other public emergencies and situations. And whereas in addition to their regular participation in local emergency communication training exercise, Williamson County amateur radio operators also participate in an annual nationwide field day emergency communication preparedness exercise sponsored by the American Radio Relay League, the National Association of Amateur Radio Operators. And whereas in 2009 the field exercises will take place on June the 27th and 28th so the, there be it therefore resolved that I as the mayor of Williamson County do hereby proclaim in a couple of weeks, June 21st through June 27, 2009, is Amateur Radio Week. Both your chairman and myself have signed this, and if I could, I'd like to give this to Bill and let him introduce the other members. Bill. Mr. Chairman, County Commission, I'd like to thank all y'all for supporting uh, amateur radio communications in Williamson County and the phenomenal growth that we've seen uh, in amateur radio and especially in the youth. I'm all that Jack talk about that, what we're doing with the uh, youth in Williamson County and getting them involved and the Boy Scouts and uh, but your support and the 911 board support um, over the years have been tremendous and I'd like to introduce now Mr. Jack Cox who's the emergency coordinator for the local amateur radio group. Mr. Chairman, the members of the commission, on behalf of the men and women of the Williamson County Amateur Radio Emergency Service, I thank you for your support to our organization and the, and the time that you give to 
for our equipment and, and manpower. We are actively encouraging youth participation. We have approximately 15 young hams now in the teenage years that have become part of our organization. We are a family organized, family organization. We have many husband and wife and children uh, who are members now. Uh, this past weekend, we dispatched 42 stations out throughout the county, Brentwood and Franklin, for the test, the monthly test of the siren system. We identified some uh, equipment that did not work. I have given that information back to Bill, and the action has been taken. That's just some of the stuff that we would do. I would especially invite all of you to come out this Saturday, the 27th, or Sunday, the 28th, the Williamson County Ag Center where we will be set up in a field operation. For the last three years, we have been in our category, the number one station in the state of Tennessee and the number one station in the nation one year and the number two station tw uh, in the nation twice. We are very active and we are, people look up to the Williamson County amateur radio operators. Thank you so very much. Next item on the agenda is report of the county offices. Department heads, uh, Mayor Rogers Anderson, please. Just go ahead and let David go ahead and give us the uh, the budget numbers first. Mr. Chairman, have a fairly brief report tonight, really for two reasons. That are at your last meeting to try to give you as much up to date information as we could. We kind of jumped ahead and, and got the numbers a little further ahead than we normally do. Uh, so we've already given you that month. But also uh, because this meeting of your county commission is the earliest that it could possibly be in a month. We haven't received our numbers from the trustee's office to close out the books for May, so we'll catch up and get you all that information at the July meeting. The conference center report that we normally have at this time, again, we gave you one early last month, and uh, we should receive that this week. I do have a report that's been passed out to you on the monthly privilege tax. We just got that today for the month of May. And although it's still not where we'd like it to be, I think you have your chart there that the IT department has done for us. This is the largest collection of uh, monthly privilege tax that we've received since last July. So as we've said earlier meetings, we take any little bit of hope and good news and we'll take that. Uh, my understanding, one reason that it's kind of jumped up there a little bit is there was a uh, final phase of an apartment complex in the city of Spring Hill that came in. But uh, as I said, we'll take any good news we can get. So you see the numbers there and you have the chart. Uh, Mr. Chairman, any questions? I'd be glad to try to answer that. Any questions of Mr. Coleman? I see none. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I know you've got a lengthy meeting tonight, so I'll just touch on two things. If you would put on your calendar for tomorrow in this room, the public hearing for the budget for this upcoming year, 2009-10. It'll start at 5.30 here in this room. Um, as many of you know that have been following the budget processes, uh, we're uh, finished with it. There'll be no tax increase. Uh, thanks to all the effort of the elected and the appointed officials um, and all the department heads, uh, we will get through this following next year. I appreciate all the budget committee's input and in working with us and working with the numbers. Now, we will probably have about um, a whole stack of transfers tomorrow, Mr. Lynch. Uh, we are moving a few pennies at a time to make the budget work. So, <laughs> but tomorrow at 5.30, uh, if, if you have the opportunity to be here. Uh, not to throw cold water on what David has said, we continue to experience some difficult times in the new uh, building permits through the month of May. Uh, we are 
35 down from where we were this time last year. We had nine for the month of May as a composed to uh, 27 the year before, last year at the same time. So with about 33 new building permits down, so we continue to be uh, uh, taxed on, uh, on our privilege tax uh, funds, even though we did have a little money to come in and we appreciate them. I'll answer any questions, Mr. Chairman. Any questions of Mayor Anderson? See none. Thank you, sir. Williams County Schools, Dr. David Heath. I uh, have a formal report tonight. If you've got questions, be glad to answer them. We have some resolutions I hope you'll support. I don't think there's much, there much controversy about them, but if you have questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Any questions of Dr. Heath? <coughs> See none. Thank you, sir. Any other committee wishing to report uh, to the commission this evening? See none. Moving on then to the other items on the agenda. <clears throat> elections and appointments. We have uh, no elections and appointments in the county mayor's office, the county commission, library board of trustees, regional, three-year term expiring 6, 2012. Term expiring Jack Vickery, nomination Jack Vickery, and also Manny Bazell. Nomination, Manny Bazell, I'll entertain a motion. Second. Commissioner Cook, Commissioner Chalfont, the second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous. Library Board of Trustees Local, three year term expiring 6, 2012. James R. Valian Court. Nomination, Al Gregory Jr. Jerry Bull expiring. Rec nomination, for Jerry Bull, I'll entertain a motion. Second. Commissioner Barnwell, a motion. Commissioner Green, the second. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous. Veteran Services Officer, two year term expiring 6, 2011. Term expiring Ken Marshall, nomination Ken Marshall. Commissioner Walton. The motion, Commissioner Green, the second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Show it unanimous. Notaries, you have the list that was sent out to us in the packet. I'll entertain a motion to accept those as presented. Motion to approve. Commissioner Wilson, the motion. Commissioner Tommy Little, the second. Any discussion on the notaries? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Show that unanimous. Consent agenda. With the revised consent agenda, there's only one resolution that remains on the consent agenda, and that's resolution number 60917, resolution accepting roads in Grove Park subdivision as a part of the county road system for maintenance by the county highway department located off Arno Road, Arno College Grove Road. I'll entertain a motion. Commissioner Walton, the motion. Commissioner Chalfont, the second. Planning Commission report, uh, Commissioner Walton, please. 10-4-0 uh, against. Highway Commission, <coughs> I assume prove that 5-0. Yes. Budget Committee. I don't think we we voted on this. Okay, it shows five four zero against. <laughs> Does? Of course, shows. <laughs> Sorry, five four zero against. Okay, <laughs> budget committee is five four uh, zero against. Uh, any questions on six zero nine seventeen? This is the only thing that remains on the consent agenda. It's loaded on the machine. If you're in favor of the consent agenda. As presented, press yes button, oppose your no button. Everybody voted, wish to vote, record a vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22, yes. Thank you. Consent agenda is unanimously adopted. 22, yes. 
zero no. Moving on then to there are there is no unfinished business. Moving to new business, there is no zoning appropriations. We're to resolution number six zero nine three. As 6092 has been withdrawn by the maker. 6093, resolution appropriating $32,295, the 2008 9 extended school program fund for attendant wages through the end of the year. Commissioner Barnwell, please. Move for approval. Second. Second, Commissioner Mills. School board report is 12 yes and 0 no. Education. 640 against. Thank you, sir. Budget. Budget Committee 540 against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Barnwell, please. Yes, this is uh, for an increase in the amount appropriate for attendance. This is a self sufficient fund and uh, there's no, no county money any for the extended school program fund balance. Any, any questions of Commissioner Barnwell on 6093? See none. If you're in favor of 6093, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Somebody record a record vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22 yes. Thank you. <coughs> Resolution is unanimously adopted. 22 yes and zero no. Resolution number 6094. Resolution appropriating $900,000 for electricity in the 2008-9 general purpose school fund budget. Commissioner Barnwell. Move for approval. Second. Second is Commissioner Green. School board report 12 yes, zero no. Education. Six four zero against. Thank you, budget. Budget committee five four zero against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Barnwell, please. Yes, this is a utility cost for electric for the 0809 budget year or more than expected. Uh, it's affected all of our buildings and the increase was not anticipated during the budget process. Any questions of Commissioner Barnwell? Commissioner Jones, please. Yes, I, I was wondering if we still have a contract with Viron and are they monitoring our energy use at school at the schools I'm gonna alert, turn that one over to dr. Heath we have a contract with Chevron and yes they are still monitoring oh, our schools was uh, it Chevron or Byron it's Chevron Chevron well Chevron's a parent company okay and that contract expires in uh, May I believe it's May it's the tenth year of the contract we have pretty much generated all the value from the energy savings that that company offered back at the beginning and we have in this year's budget a position who will do that will be trained and do the energy management for us which is the remaining value for that okay. program okay other questions on this resolution i see none six oh nine four if you're in favor, press the yes button. Excuse me. Commissioner Walton, did I overlook you? Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. That's okay, Mr. Chairman. I just, on the second where it is, it says there was an increased fee charge beginning in October. What kind of fee was that? TVA. Which is just something that they picked up. Your, your electric bill went up, too, for, because, because of this fee. Right. Other questions? 6094 is up for consideration. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22, yes. Thank you. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 6095, resolution appropriating 800, excuse me, $50,000 for additional legal fees in the 2008-9 general purpose school budget. Commissioner Barnwell. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Langston, the second. School board report, 12 yes, zero no. Education committee. Six, four, zero against. Thank you, budget. Budget committee, five, four, zero against. Thank you, explanation, Commissioner Barnwell, please. Yes, uh, there's, we've experienced more than the typical number of legal uh, processes and settlements in special education. 
the more than we budgeted. We received the more revenue than anticipated through our reimbursement from the state uh, for high cost students. So that's where this these funds will be coming from. Thank you, sir. Any questions of Commissioner Barnwell on 6095? See none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22, yes. Thank you. Resolution unanimously adopted. <coughs> resolution number 6096, <coughs> resolution appropriating and amending the 2008-09 medical examiner's budget by 19,000 revenues to come from unappropriated county general funds. Who made the motion? Hancock. Commissioner Hancock. The motion, the second. Commissioner Walton. Public Health Committee report. Four, four, zero against. Thank you. Budget Committee. Budget Committee, five, four, zero against. Uh, Public Health Committee, uh, Commissioner. Uh, this, thank you, Mr. Chairman. This resolution is just for more autopsies than we had budgeted for. We have that need, unfortunately. Any questions of Commissioner Davis on 6096? See no questions. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22, yes. Thank you. Resolution 6096 unanimously accepted and adopted. Resolution 6097, resolution appropriating and amending the 2008-09 County General Miscellaneous Budget by $50,000. Revenues to come from unappropriated county general funds. Uh, Commissioner Lynch. Move for approval. Second. second. Commissioner Langston, the second. Budget committee report. Budget committee 5 4 0 against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Lynch, please. What that is, is, everyone knows we pay half the expenses out at the conference center. Sometimes, most of the time, we make a little money, sometimes we lose. This money is in case we do lose money in June to take care of that expenditure. Thank you, sir. Questions of Commissioner Lynch on 6097? I see no questions. <clears throat> In favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. <coughs> Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22 yes. 22 yes, zero no. 6097 is adopted. 6098, resolution appropriating and amending the 2008-09 solid waste department budget by $2,716.08. Revenues to come from sale of recyclables and donations. Commissioner Hayes. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Cook, the second. Report from the committee's municipal solid waste board. Um, five, four. Zero against. Thank you. Budget committee. Budget committee 540 again. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Hayes, please. Yes, as we said, it's from the sale of uh, uh, recyclables and donations, uh, some money coming from a state association. Part of the money is going to be used for the Keep Weeds and Beautiful Living Green Expo, which is going to be Saturday, August the 29th at the factory. It's going to tell us how to live green. So hope all of you can come to that expo. It is in the uh, center of the factory in the in the area, and it's uh, Keith Williamson Beautiful Awards and Environmental Leadership Class graduation will take place. Tickets will in include your dessert bar and a speaker, so you can get all the information you need from our Keith Williamson Beautiful or our Solid Waste Department. But this is for donations from donations and sale of recyclables. Thank you. Qu questions of Commissioner Hayes on 6098. <coughs> In favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Everybody voted who wishes to vote. Commissioner Walton. Commissioner Walton. Court of vote, please. Okay. 22, yes. Thank you. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 6099, resolution appropriating and amending the 2008-09 Williams County Library budget by $4,202.88. Revenues to come from unappropriated county general funds derived from fees. Commissioner Move. Barnwell. Move for approval with an amendment. Second. 
Commissioner Langston the second. What's your amendment, sir? Yes, I'd uh, like to propose that this be this number be reduced to uh, three thousand one hundred seventy nine dollars and sixty three cents due to the uh, uh, we made a policy change uh, at, with the library board that <clears throat> once you buy the once you pay for a lost book uh, it is now yours we do not give you the money back if you, sh you should find it and that was a, con a problem with last uh, this resolution last month and I think it was a problem with the budget committee so <clears throat> we'd like to reduce it for the money that uh, Mr. Coleman has had to pay back this this calendar year for books that were returned. It's a proper amendment. Is there a second? Second. Commissioner Langston, the second. So we're amending 6099 from 420288 to $3,179.63. That's your amendment? That's correct. This resolution uh, was adopted, Commissioner Barnwell, by the uh, library board. Uh, that report, please. Uh, six four zero again at the original number, but they're aware of the uh, the reduction due to paybacks. Thank you, sir. Budget committee, Commissioner Green, please. Uh, budget committee was five four zero again. It was deferred to the county commission until this additional information was put in, and that amendment's already been offered by Commissioner Barnwell. Very good. Any questions on the amendment? We'll vote the amendment first. The Amendment offered by Commissioner Barnwell has been duly seconded is three, $3,179.63. Any further discussion on the amendment? I see none. If you're in favor of the amendment, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Record a vote, please, on the amendment. 22 yes. 22 yes on the amendment. So the amendment is adopted now we're back to resolution 6099 as amended with the new amount 3179.63 any questions commissioner barnwell you indicated that the new policy is in effect yes we passed the policy in our last board meeting and uh, uh fellow members of the board were surprised that we're actually giving the money back so it was it was a good thing that we actually brought it up thank you sir we're ready to vote 6099 is as amended is up for consideration if you're in favor press your <coughs> yes button opposed your no button record a vote please miss anderson 22 yes 22 yes resolution 099 is is approved as amended with the new amount resolution 60910 Resolution directing revenue designated for road purposes that is collected <coughs> from the Williamson County business tax that exceed three million one hundred thousand dollars and funds collected from the Williamson County wheel tax that, ex that exceed three million five hundred thousand dollars for the fiscal year 2008-9 be redesignated to the general fund uh, Commissioner Hancock. Move for approval. Commissioner Brockman, the second Highway Commission accepted this. Five four zero against. Tax study, please. Uh, three four zero against. Thank you. Budget committee. Uh, budget committee is five four zero against. Uh, explanation. Uh, this went before tax uh, commissioner Greer. Do you want to? Explain I would like this to, or ask Mr. Coleman. I would like to get Mr. Coleman to okay. explain it, please. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Coleman. Sure was hoping that Ms. Greer would do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> this one is just a little bit confusing, but uh, a couple of uh, main points is that we're dealing with state statute here, and most of you probably know in the highway budget, a large portion of their revenue comes from uh, gasoline tax. And part of the provision with the state on receiving that gasoline tax is that whatever local monies we put into the highway department through our local taxes must be maintained each year at an average of the last five years. And the last of those five years is always an estimate of what that budget year is. And the figures you see in this resolution are the estimates for this year. In a county like ours that's growing, if we continue to collect more than we actually budget and continue to put that in the highway fund, 
it forces that five-year average up and up and up, and it makes it harder each year to make that average, especially now that we've kind of leveled out, privilege taxes down. So if we drop below that five-year average, we lose dollar-for-dollar dollar state gasoline tax. So I'll make it very clear, we had a misunderstanding a little bit at the Highway Commission the other day. This is not taking any money away from the Highway Department. They've been budgeted 3.5 and 3.1 million. If we reach that limit, they will get all of that. The only thing that would be diverted to the County General Fund is anything that's collected over that. So this would just help that five-year average to level out and make it a little easier for us to meet that average and make sure we don't lose any state funding. Commissioner Brockman, please. Thank you. Um, uh, Mr. Coleman, is, has it been the case over the last, let's say, three years that we've been in line with that, or have, have indeed they been collecting um, above the average? Commissioner, they have been collecting above the average, and we've had several discussions with the people from the state and CTAS about how to approach this. And three years ago, I believe it was, they allowed us to start putting privilege tax in there, which we had not done prior to that, and that helped us to maintain that average. Well, now that the privilege tax is down, we're really not getting that help from the privilege tax. But we have budgeted these levels before. We do expect to, to meet these levels, and just anything above that would divert back to the general fund. And, Mr. Chairman, I might add that there are several taxes like these two that we have a lot of flexibility with. We can put them in various funds. There are other taxes that are more specific, and you can't move them around. But these two, we do have the flexibility. They could go to the highway, or they could go to the general fund. And some of it could even go to the debt service funds, and we've done that in years past. Thank you. How did he do, Commissioner Greer? Are you okay? He did, not. <laughs> any, any questions, uh, any other questions of any commissioner on uh, resolution 6 9 10? See none. If you're in favor of resolution 6 9 10, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Has everybody voted, wishes to vote? Hey. Commissioner Walton. He tried. I saw him. <laughs> Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22, yes. Thank you. Resolution 0910 has been adopted unanimously. Resolution 60912. Resolution appropriating and amending the 2008-09 detention budget by $175,000. Revenues to come from unappropriated county general funds. Commissioner Hancock. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Smith, the second, Law Enforcement Public Safety Committee. Six in favor of, zero against. Thank you, sir. Budget Committee. Budget Committee, five, four, zero against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Hancock, please. The outside medical services for the uh, inmates has exceeded the uh, budget line this year, primarily for overnight hospital stays, uh, by the amount of $175,000, and the revenues will come from the unappropriated county general. Any questions of uh, Commissioner Hancock on 60912? I'd like to recognize that uh, Captain Dobbins is in the audience tonight. Uh, welcome. He's representing Sheriff uh, Long here. So, Mike, welcome to our meeting. 60912 is up for consideration. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 22, yes. Thank you very much. Resolution is unanimously adopted. Resolution 60913, resolution appropriating and amending the 2008-9 emergency management and capital projects budget by $109,818.35 for reimbursement of costs related to Hurricane Gustav and authorizing the county mayor to execute a contractual grant agreement between the state of Tennessee and Williamson County for said reimbursement. Commissioner Hancock, please. Move for approval. Okay. Commissioner Wilson, the second, Law Enforcement Public Safety Committee. 
Six in favor of, zero against. Thank you, Budget Committee. Budget Committee 540 against. Thank you, sir. Explanation, Commissioner Hancock, please. Mr. Chairman, the uh, caption just about says it all. This is reimbursement uh, for the money spent uh, providing shelter for Hurricane Gustav. Uh, put back in our emergency management. Any yes. questions of Commissioner Hancock on 609.13? I see none. If you're in favor, 609.13, press the yes button. Opposed, your no button. Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. Commissioner Jones. <laughs> Thank you. 22 yes. Thank you. Resolution. Unanimously adopted. Resolution 60918. Resolution authorizing the county mayor to enter into contractual agreements for economic development grant funds totaling $1,500 for economic development purposes. Commissioner Hayes, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Cook, the second. The budget committee report. Budget committee 540 against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Hayes. This is a, a grant from the state of Tennessee to be used for economic development purposes. It's outlined here in your resolution. This one needs to be amended. We mentioned last month about the three star program making it possible for us to receive grants. We see grants coming in because of that program. Commissioner Hayes, if you would look look at your place, there's a proposed amendment to this resolution 609-18, uh, where it starts uh, talking about the expenditures and revenues. Uh, we need to delete all of that so that the resolution is amended to delete the language after. Now, therefore, be it resolved and deleting the budget amendment for 2008 because it will be as I understand it, in next year's budget. So if you would make that amendment, please. Um, so noted, ma'am. Second. Okay. Commissioner Hancock, the second. Uh, Madam Clerk, you have a copy of this amendment. We're, in effect, deleting all that expenditure revenue information. Is there any discussion on the amendment that's been offered to 609-18? I see none. If you're in favor of the amendment, press your yes button. Opposed, you no know button. Court to vote on the amendment, please. Commissioner Green, please. Twenty-two yes. Twenty-two yes and zero no on the amendment. Now we're voting 609-18 as amended. Any discussion on 609-18 as amended? In favor, press your yes button. Opposed, you no know button. Court of vote, please. 22 yes. Thank you very much. Resolution unanimously adopted as amended. Resolution number 60919. Resolution appropriating and amending the 2008-9 County General Other Charges Budget by a million dollars for additional vehicle and equipment insurance revenues to come from insurance recovery funds. Uh, Commissioner Little, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Mills, the second. Purchasing and Insurance Committee. 540 against. Thank you. Budget Committee. Budget Committee 540 against. Thank you. Commissioner Little, please. The explanation. To close out the uh, county books at year end, the state requires us to have the claims, any possible claims, be accounted for on the books. Uh, these claims will we have what you might call a deductible level of $100,000 per claim. Uh, excess insurance will cover the rest of this. So a lot of this will be recovered after, but to be after we close our books. So the state, this is a, a largely an accounting measure. Thank you, sir. Any questions of uh, Commissioner Little on 609-19? See none. If you're in favor of 609-19, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Commissioner Lynch, there we go. Court of vote, please. 22 yes. Resolution unanimously adopted. 22 yes and zero no. Resolution number 6091. Resolution to approve lowering the speed limit 
on Oxford Glen Drive by Commissioners Wilson and Parrott. I move for approval. Second. Motion is made and seconded. The Highway Commission, I assume, approved this uh, 5 4 0 no. Explanation uh, Commissioners Wilson and Para. Um, after uh, Franklin connected Cool Springs Boulevard to Oxford Glen, the uh, traffic has increased quite a bit on it. Uh, people are speeding through the, the subdivision. Uh, it has a neighborhood pool on this road, and there aren't sidewalks, and we just need to get the speed limit down to a speed limit reflective that it is a neighborhood and try to slow people down some. Thank you. I appreciate your support. I agree. It is a cut through from Cool Springs Boulevard all the way through to Highway 96 East and traffic is pretty bad. So I appreciate your approval on this. Other questions of these two commissioners? I see none. In favor of 6091. <coughs> Press your yes button. Opposed your no button. Court of vote, please. I think 25 is it? 22, yes. 22, yes. Zero, no. Mr. Hood, those signs will go up for, uh, very soon. Resolution 60911. Resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a contract with Tax Management Associates. Incorporated uh, for services, Commissioner Wilson. I'll make for approval. Second. Commissioner Barnwell, the second. Tax study committee. Three, four, zero against. Thank you. Budget committee. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Wilson. Uh, this is a resolution. Uh, we have done business with tax management associates before for our property assessments. And this is just to, uh, they provide our audit and compliance review services, and this is just a contract agreement with them to do that service for us again. Thank you. Questions of Commissioner Wilson on 60911? I, I see no questions. If you're in favor of 60911, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Record the vote, please. 22, yes. Thank you. Resolution unanimously adopted. 60914. Resolution authorizing the county mayor to enter into a 2009-10 contractual agreement with the state of Tennessee for $982,900 for local <coughs> health services. Commissioner Walton. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Brockman, the second. Public Health Committee. Four, four, zero against. Thank you. Budget Committee. Five, four, zero against. Thank you. Explanation, please. Uh, I would need to defer to my. Well, I'll go ahead. We get okay. this every year from the state. No local funds to run our health department. I'm sorry. Commissioner, oh, I do. Commissioner Davis, was there not an amendment that was there offered? Was. At Thank the you. committee meeting to amend this amount? Yes, there was. Let me make that amendment, please. Please. I'd like to amend the resolution to read uh, $1,019,900 in lieu of the 982.9. Is there a second? Second. Commissioner Williams, a second. <coughs> Amending 60914 to $1,019,900. That's an appropriate <coughs> amendment. Discussion on the amendment? If you're in favor of the amendment, press your yes button, a million nineteen nine hundred. Court vote on the amendment, Ms. Anderson. Twenty-two yes. Twenty-two yes on the amendment. So we're voting on 609.14 as amended, one million nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Any discussion on that as amended? I see none. If you're in favor of that resolution as amended, Press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Court of vote, please. 22 yes. 22 yes, zero no. Resolution unanimously adopted. <coughs> resolution 60915, resolution authorizing the county mayor to enter into a contractual agreement for the provision of dental services at the Williamson County Health 
Department in amount not to exceed $138,000. Commissioner Walton. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Mills, a second. Public Health Committee, Commissioner Davis. 440 against. Thank you. Budget Committee. Budget Committee 540 against. Thank you. Explanation, please. It's a similar to the one we just passed, only this is for uh, dental services at the Health Department. Money to come from the state. Questions on 609.15? I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, you no button. 609.15. Court of vote, please. 22 yes. 22 yes, zero no. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution number 60920, resolution authorizing the county mayor to enter into a, an emergency shelter agreement with the Red Cross. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner <coughs> Cook, the second. The property committee report. Property Committee 540 against. Thank you. Uh, explanation, Commissioner Little. Yes, this is authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with the Red Cross. There was some language in it originally that uh, has all been worked out, and it's uh, it's a good agreement for the county. So, any questions of Commissioner Little on 609.20? I see none. In favor of 60920, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Anybody voted who wishes to vote? Commissioner Shelfont, good. Court of vote, please. 20, one yes, one no. 21 yes, one no. Resolution is adopted. Resolution 60921. And here, here we are starting into uh, the leases. Uh, all of these consent agenda leases. Uh, <laughs> we've got several to do. They were on the consent agenda, but we've got to vote them separately. Uh, and uh, I've been informed by council that there's absolutely no problem with voting these voice vote. So we'll just, even though we'll have to do them individually, we'll move as quickly as we can and vote them by voice vote. and. Uh, Go from there. 609-21. Get ready for the roll. Resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with Community Health Partnership of Williamson County for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Walton, a second. Property Committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Again, uh, any questions, explanation? All these are leases that are renewing, that are current leases. We approve a master lease once every, that we can run for four years, but uh, this is a five-year approval. Every year after this, the mayor will be able to execute this, but these are the leases that we must execute this year in order to give him the authority to do that. So each of these leases are virtually identical, but the names and parties change, so Thus, we have to vote these uh, each individually. If you have a question, <coughs> punch your button and stop me, but uh, we're going to crank and go through these. So any questions on 609.21? Like I said, if I don't see anything jump up on this board, we're rolling. All in favor of 609.21 say aye. Aye. Opposed? Short unanimous. 609.22, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Williams County Literacy Council for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Cook, the second. Property Committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on uh, this one, 609.22? I see none. All in favor of 609.22, say aye. 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 Opposed? Show it unanimous. <coughs> 609-23, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Council on Drug and Alcohol Abuse for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Wilson, the second. Property Committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Again, any questions on 609-23? I see none. All in favor of 609-23? Indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Show it unanimous. 609 24. 
resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Bethesda Senior Citizen Center for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Sir. Commissioner Lynch, the second. Property committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on 609-24? I see none. All in favor of 609-24? Indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Show it unanimous, 609-24, 609-25. Resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the College Grove Senior Citizens for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Lynch, the second. Property Committee Report. Commissioner Brockman. 540 against. Thank you. Expl any questions on 609 25, I see none. All in favor of 609-25, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Short unanimous. 609-26, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Hillsborough Senior Citizen Center for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Walton, the second. Property committee report, please. Property 540 against. Any questions on 609-26? <coughs> I see none. If you're in favor of 609-26, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion adopted unanimously. 609-27. Resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Nolensville Senior Citizen Center for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Green, the second. Property committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on 609-27? I see none. In favor of 609-27, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous. 609-28, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the J.L. Clay Senior Citizen Center for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Mills, the second. Property committee report. Property 540 against. Thank you. Commissioner Barnwell, please. Yes, as a member of the Board of Directors I'm on the J.L. Clay Center, I think I'm, I have to abstain from this vote. Okay. So let the record show that Commissioner Barnwell is abstaining as a member of the Board of Directors. Uh, Commissioner Williams, please. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have just a general question because all these leases <clears throat> may even address it to council. Uh, who set the... Uh, liability insurance liability limits limits out here on these leases who determined these amounts i guess is the best, best determine one. the amounts yeah bobby mr chairman those amounts are determined by risk management they approve the language and the amounts who risk management okay thank you good questions any any other questions on 609-28 I see none. If you're in favor of 609-28, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Show the record that Commissioner Barnwell abstains from voting as a member of the J.L. Clay uh, Board of Directors. 609-29, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Community Child Care for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Mills, the second. Property committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on 609-29? Commissioner Ford, please. Mr. Chairman, I notice in the body of this uh, resolution, we've got WSCC reference, but the title says Community Child Care, and the next one is WCSS. Is that a typo in the resolution? Yes. So, yes. so do we need to do an amendment, or can we do that? We can take care of that as a typo. As a typo. Okay. Yes. Let's see, Commissioner Ford. Let's make sure we get all those identified. Uh, yeah, I, I see it in in the last whereas, okay. and in the uh, now therefore be it resolved. And we may, I don't know if the address is correct or not. Okay. Did you get that, Madam Clerk? Yes, sir. Mr. Madam, Mr. Clerk. Uh huh. You get that? Okay. So we're making those changes so it's consistent for the Williams County Child Community Care rather than WCSS. So. Yeah, it needs to be Community Child Care rather than WSCC. Okay. WSCC instead of WCSS, right? 
Right. Okay. All right. It appears it should be Office 1001 instead of Suite 124. Lease is right. One thousand and one. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you very much, Commissioner. On six zero nine twenty nine. All in favor of six zero nine twenty nine? Indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Unanimously adopted. Resolution 60930, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into lease agreement with WCSS for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Jones, a second. Property committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Uh, and on, on this one, uh, let, let, let's let's if we could spell that out. That should say instead of WCSS, let's spell it out. Williams County School System, please. And then when you get down into the same body, the WCSS, uh, WCSS needs to be stating Williams County School System. And then when you get down to the last whereas, we got WSCC. So. Make it, if you would, uh, Jeff, consistent through the resolution and spell out Williamson County School System, if you would, please. That's correct, Diane. Okay. Everything else is right except uh, those abbreviations get us in trouble. So, uh, any other questions on 60930? You clear, Jeff, on what we need to do? All in favor of 60930, say aye. 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 Opposed? Show it unanimous. 60931. Resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with waves for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. <laughs> Commissioner Reba Greer, the second. Property committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on 60931. I see none. In favor of 60931, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Show it unanimous. 60932, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with ways for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Who was the second? Commissioner Jones. Property committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on 60932? This is the waves in Fairview. This is the waves in Fairview. All in favor of 60932, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Short unanimous. 60933, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with Williams County Adult Education for use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Mills. The second. Budget Property Committee report. Property 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on 609-33 for the adult education group? I see none. If you're in favor of 609-33, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Show it unanimous. 60934. Resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Boys and Girls Club of Franklin Williamson County for the use of office space. Commissioner Tommy Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Barnwell, the second. Property committee report. 540 against. Thank you. Any questions on 60934? I see none. In favor, 609-34. Indicate the saying aye. 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 Opposed? Show it unanimous. Late file resolution 609-35.
This resolution has been added to the agenda. A resolution of support of General Motors Automotive Manufacturing Facility in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Commissioners Hayes and Lynch. Move for approval. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Uh, this resolution has been uh, filed, uh, and I'll allow Commissioner Hayes and Lynch to introduce this, uh, and we'll talk about it and discuss it. Commissioner Hayes. I know it comes as no news that Spring Hill has been uh, the center of a lot of news lately. They have uh, been in the middle of a lot of controversy over the keeping or maintaining of the GM plant there. Fortunately, they skirted uh, around and did not get an immediate closure, but they still now are one of three plants who might be selected to make a uh, economy car. They do not know whether they will be selected or not, but they are optimistic and they are very hopeful. We also realize how much they contribute to our area. There's some 3,000 families who are living and working there at uh, the Spring Hill plant and whose lives will be, will be directly affected. And if you think how much else will be affected with the businesses, the schools, and all the things that relate to family life, you know how devastated the area would be if we totally lost that plant. We believe that if there's a unified effort to maintain the facility there, that it will be an act of partnership on all of our parts, a good neighbor gesture, and a brotherly goodwill gesture for us to all come together. I will also be asking the Chambers of Commerces and the municipalities of our communities to join hands. We need to unite together. This facility is the newest facility that GM has. Some 18 months was spent ago with $1 billion to retrofit it, so it is the newest, the most flexible, and the most diverse of any of the plants available for GM. So it's a logical uh, following that they should, be, remain, should remain open, and we need to gather together our support and tell GM that we want them here, we are good for them, and they're good for us. And this is the quality of life that uh, they so much like. We're very supportive, and I think that might make a difference in the determining of saving the GM plant. The elected officials have done everything they know to do down there, and they're still very optimistic. The people of the community are worried because they don't know what's going to happen with their lives. So if we can hold out the hand of partnership, I think it will mean a lot, and I encourage you to vote, and I thank you for your signature already. Mr. Lynch, you have anything further you'd like to add, sir? I'd concur with Ms. Hayes. This resolution uh, is, is a very timely resolution that Commissioner Hayes and Lynch have presented to us, and uh, there, there is an attached exhibit, exhibit number one. If you've not had any opportunity to sign that, and I think everyone has signed it except our two absent members tonight. That's correct. And from the chair, with that being attached as an exhibit, there's absolutely no difficulty or no reason that you cannot obtain their signature before this is submitted. And I want to point you to this next, the, the next to the last, now therefore be it resolved, uh, that Commissioner Hayes and Lynch have put this together. After this approves and comes through our body, this will be furnished to the appropriate leadership of General Motors, the Tennessee General Assembly representatives from Murray and Williamson County, the two senators from the state of Tennessee, the House of Representatives members from Tennessee, which will be all of the representatives in Congress, and the governor of the great state of Tennessee. So I think it's important that all 24 of us sign that, that resolution. So that's why we've attached an exhibit <coughs> And uh, Madam Clerk, uh, we'll make sure we get that signed before uh, this is processed and then sent forward. And Commissioner Hayes and Lynch, thank you for bringing that forward. I know this is a very important issue to all people that are associated with General Motors and Saturn, which was Saturn. It's now General Motors. But 
Thank you for doing that. Any other commissioner like to make any comment on this resolution? Because it's very, very timely. Uh, any any comments? Mayor Dinwiddie is working very hard on this and very involved and certainly has supported us. And I know Mayor Anderson has been working very closely with him. So thank, thank you for that support. If there's nothing else to be said, we're going to vote. 609.35, let's use the machine. It's loaded on the machine, 609.35. Court of vote, please. 22, yes. 22 yes and zero no, and uh, we will obtain those other two signatures of Commissioner Hester and Commissioner Bain uh, before we'll proceed. Any, anything further uh, to be reported this evening? Thank you for your patience in working through all these resolutions. We'll be in adjournment. Remember the public hearing tomorrow night in this room for the Budget Committee. And remember that the July meeting is in the daytime at 9 a.m. We'll start here and hopefully can adjourn before we go to lunch and uh, have a short meeting. If you're in favor of adjournment, let's stand up and leave. <laughs> have a good evening.